This mystery has taken us from Phoenix. To Nick Lyons. To Valerie Sheffner Harris and Dick Lyons. To A.T. Olowski and N.S. Lyons. Via Nick Lyons from Ballarat. Hit your run. Harmless Tank. And finally, to Clara Hope. Even after changing my name, gender, they still fucking found me. <laughs> she said, cool, cool, talk soon, thumbs up. This is Finding Jesus. Okay. Man... This is already so expensive. Mm, okay, well... Look at this, $506 per person return flight. Well, you can cancel my entertainment package. I don't... Why did you like put the it. entertainment package on? Well, you know, I want to watch something on the way there. It's an hour and 25 minutes. That's a movie. I think I might have something that could be cheaper. What? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. I don't know how to turn them off. All right, we're good. We are about to go meet Clara for the first time. And um, I don't know how to play it. Hey, you cult leader. Do you make a cult up? I don't think that's the right way to play it. I feel like we need to... How are you? How are you is a good starting okay. point. I've never met anyone from Adelaide before. They're really lovely people for the okay. most part. I needed to hear that. Should we head over? Let's All right. walk slowly though. Okay. Oh, hey. 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 Nice to meet you. I'm nice Cameron. This too. is Alexi. I'm Alexi. Hi. Hey. Can we shake your hand or is that your bow yeah. hand? Yeah. It's so hey. good to meet we'll you. We'll be gentle with both hands. <laughs> oh, hey. my God. Nice to meet hey. you. We're so excited. Far out. <laughs> it's surreal. <laughs> Especially with this in the background. This feels, my Lord. This feels amazing. Oh, my God. Thanks so much for hanging out with us and meeting us. Yeah, I'm happy to. Hi, <laughs> I'm Clara Hope. I'm a musician and artist, and I created Kanye Quest 3030. Yes. <laughs> it's on the record. Did you get that? Did we get it? Wow! 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 wow, wow. wow. This is very, actually, extremely surreal. Mm. So we've had a lot of loose ends, you know. Yeah. Uh, a lot of roadblocks, but thank you for creating the game. <laughs> thank you for admitting it. And where do we start? I guess let's start at the beginning. So, um, where does it begin for you? For me, it uh, began as um, a Year Twelve project for. Uh, high school, they Whoa. just, they <laughs> wanted us to make like a major project for school and I was like, I'm gonna make a video game. I got a, I got a B plus. B plus? <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> that's at least an A minus. Absolutely. I'm going up to A plus honestly because it's, you know, <laughs> a legacy alone, legacy alone. Well, I was just thinking that I wanted to make something fun that I was, you know, that was like related to my interests. Mm -hmm. I love music and so I thought I'll, I'll do something about music and I figured that an interesting person to focus on would be Kanye West because I've always had sort of mixed feelings about him as an artist but I always thought he was interesting enough to make <laughs> a video game about yeah. I suppose. One thing that obviously has brought us here today is the hidden level, the secret level that has become iconic. I have to ask, was the hidden level always in there from the start? I think in the first version that I put out, it wasn't there. And then in like an updated version, I added it. <laughs> like I'm just gonna add a little secret. <laughs> a little something to, for yeah. an extra playthrough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I essentially had an idea that was basically like a completely different game, but I figured since I've already kind of got 
this thing, which some people seem to be noticing, I'll just yeah. might as well throw, put them together, <laughs> just throw it in there. Where does the name Phoenix come from? Phoenix, I suppose. I just chose because um, it sounded like a cool name. Oh, I didn't really... accomplished. <laughs> it is a cool sounding it name. It is cool sounding, I'll yeah. give you that. Talk us through Ascensionism. Where does that come from? Is that birthed out of your brain? I had done some like research on online and I found that there were a lot of different sort of new age style sort of cult-like groups that I noticed all had the same name, which was Ascensionism. Mm. And so I figured to, to be as confusing as possible, I should also use that same name mm -hmm. so that nobody actually knows what we believe. And that seemed to cause as much chaos as possible. So <laughs> I think it was a pretty good name choice. So was there in your brain a philosophy behind Ascensionism at all, or was it deliberately random and chaotic? Yeah, I didn't uh, have really anything in mind. I just thought, I'll, I'll let people figure it out, fill in the blanks. So <laughs> I wanted to do something about, uh, about like cults in particular. A relative of mine is, yeah, like part of something like that. It, there I, um, like, particularly litigious group, so I won't name them, but you can probably guess. A um, no religious <laughs> group that are famous for suing people. Mm, I thought that that was um, interesting because uh, I haven't seen that family member in a few years now. Um, mm. And yeah, I just wanted to make something about that sort of uh, way that those sort of groups and how they like control people and things. What do you make of all the people claiming they've made Kanye Quest? Since it's like an anonymous art project, it's often like not really clear who's actually running things or who mm. owns it. There are a lot of people sort of at, at once sort of claimed like they made it and owned it and things like that. Mm. So um, I just sort of wanted to step away from it and let them fight over this mess. <laughs> Do you have any favourites out there of like, or ones that interest you a lot? I think there was someone from like Ballarat. That's actually someone that we know. Yeah, now, we, yeah. that's someone you know. <laughs> well, Do you like Animatrix? Do you ever see that? I did see that, yeah. It's pretty sick, hey? Yeah, it wasn't bad. Uh. I worked with um, another musician who I met at, at university. We tried like running a, a record label together for a short time and uh, we worked on the game together while we were doing that. Did you make this person sign an NDA? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, the NDA was real. Yeah. In the peak of the game, did you ever come across any people who were playing it who possibly believed any of the spiritual side of it? Thought it was real? It's hard to know because there would be people who are role-playing like they did and there might have been people who actually did believe in it, but um, it's pretty hard to tell the difference um, over the internet anyway. Do you know if Kanye's people ever found out about the game? I don't know if Kanye's people ever did. Um, I do know that um, Tupac's lawyer got in touch with me. Get um, out. The, the lawyer of Tupac's estate. Um, <laughs> they like sent me a cease and desist notice for including Tupac in the game because like I had a photo of Tupac. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. So yeah, I had to, I took the, the photo out and replaced him. With oh my game. god! <laughs> Did they have to go through Harmless Tank as well? <laughs> <laughs> it's filled with a beautiful green wine. So that is the um, Ascensionism Eye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talk this, us through this. Is this an original? Is this your yeah. Year 12 art assignment? Yep. So That's it? <laughs> yeah. So can I just ask, Kanye Quest 3030 was your computer programming assignment for high school and Ascensionism the Eye was your art assignment from high school? Yeah. So <laughs> there was two major projects from school combined together. Yeah, pretty much. Can I ask what mark you got for this? I think I got an A for this one. Oh, oh yeah. Thank That's God. That's more like it. Okay. So this is one that I feel like we did see along the way as well. Yeah, I used that one in um in the single art for one of my songs. When did you paint this? Like I was about 15. What do you see when you look at this? 
I, I think you can, I don't know, you can kind of, kind of see I wasn't like the happiest kid maybe. So was painting and music and everything kind of like an escape? Yeah, for sure. That was, that was a way for me to, uh, yeah, do something on my own and then, yeah, be creative. I chucked out most of my high school stuff. <laughs> Did you? So you've hung on to it, so it must be like, I mean, what does it serve for you? Is it? Um, yeah, I guess it's like a reminder of sort of where I've come from. Um, things have changed a lot since then. Yeah. For the better. Why did you agree to talk about all of this with us? For whatever reason, even though I've really stopped doing anything to do with this game for a long time, new people keep seeming to find it and sort of start investigating it again and again. I figured I might as well just um, say that, yeah, it was me who made it and like resolved the mystery because that seemed to be what a lot of people were looking for was some sort of resolution and ending to it. So um, there you go. Is there at all a sense of loss knowing that it'll be resolved now? Oh, a little bit, but I mean, I guess, you know, the story's got to come to an end, so. Do you think it'll live on in a different way now? Maybe, there seem to be like a lot of people who've like spun off different projects from it. And yeah, some people have said they've been like inspired by it and made new projects, so yeah, that's cool. I mean, we were inspired by it. Mm -hmm. I'm glad. <laughs> Well, we met Clara. We found Phoenix. Ascensionism isn't real, but I don't even think that's the point anymore. I think the point is the search for something to believe in. I kind of guess in that search we found comfort. Hmm. Look, look. Beautiful. Did you make that? For Kanye. I know he'd love it. And it's based on the Matrix. Pretty cool in my opinion. What's the Matrix? <laughs> <laughs>